Do you want to become a business process modeler? Business processes are always at the center when it comes to talking about information technology. After all, all the information that is produced comes from business processes and all the information that is consumed is consumed by business processes. So business processes are the first thing that you look at when you go into a new organization. And of course, business processes are invisible. So they are quite hard to detect in the first place. And this is an abstract concept. So if you come to a big enterprise in the first place, you may be a little overwhelmed. So what do you need to become a business process modeler? The first thing that you need to do is you need to get a notion of what a model is. So a model is something like an image of some original. And in order to draw that image from the original, you have to abstract from many things. Because in general, these originals, like the business processes, are so complex that there is no way of understanding them if you are not able to abstract away certain things. So where do you learn abstraction? One of the classics is mathematics, and in particular, algebra. There you really learn how to abstract from things, construct models, and information technology models are very often mathematical models, because after all, everything that is in IT, every program, every software, is something like a mathematical model of something. So study mathematics, information science, or business information system, or something similar. The next thing that you need is some knowledge about modeling paradigms. So there is EPCs, event-driven process chains, or BPMN, business process model and notation, and there are many other notations and methods as such. I found out that it is a good idea to go even a step further and learn how to automate business processes. Because automating business processes helps you modeling them. Although in the first place you need some more information, you can really solve many problems in modeling by trying to automate processes. For example, the problem of the granularity where you model. When you try to automate business processes and you use the three perspectives like the control flow, the data and the resources, you are obliged to think of every task as some concrete form on the screen where some user is inputting some data and reading some data. So that really helps you solving the granularity problem. Another advantage is that by constructing executable prototypes of business processes or workflows as such, you can really get much more valuable feedback from your subject matter experts. Because just sending them some business process model and waiting for their reply can either yield to good results or no results at all. Because if you play with the prototype with your subject matter experts, they can really come up with very good idea and they will tell you exactly what is missing. So how do you continue after your studies? One good starting point is a consulting company because consulting companies usually go into big enterprises and then they look at business processes and see how to automate them. So you are always there where the action is. Furthermore, consulting companies usually have some kind of bag with lots of methods with them and by working there, you learn how to use that. You learn how to talk to people in these organizations. And that brings me to another topic. It is a good idea in the medium term to specialize maybe in one or two branches. Look at all these different organizations where you go to and try to see where you have the most familiarity or the best relationships with people working there. It is a big difference if you are in banking or if you are talking to engineers or people of the public sector. And having this close relationship is very important for getting good results and also for commercial success, of course. So putting it all together, you need the ability to abstract from things, you need some good foundation, 
and exercises there, so studying is a good idea. Then you need to learn your modeling paradigms, one or two tools, and then you need to specialize in a branch eventually. If you want to start right now, look at our videos here on this channel, the YAWL tutorials. By following them, you get an idea of what it means to learn how to automate and model business processes. Hope to see you soon.